Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you guys a free video converter. So first go to Google, type in uh, Media Coder, and it should be your first link. So go to the Download tab, and scroll down a little bit. Under Media Coder Full Pack, you're going to want the current developing version. It's currently 7.0, so go there. If you have 64-bit, you're going to want this link. If you have 32-bit, just click here. I have 32-bit, so um, it doesn't really matter which one. I'm just going to use the Google Download Mirror. Um, if it doesn't start automatically with this, if it doesn't come up with this automatically, you can click there to get it. Uh, so just save it. Once you're done downloading, you connect your browser, and you'll be given a setup file. So just click that, click run. It's a pretty quick install. So just go next. I agree. Uh, save it to the folder you want. Next, next. Uh, unless you want ask toolbar and them as your home page, I'd suggest unchecking those. Install. So, it installs fairly quick. So just uncheck that, finish, and you'll be given a new icon on your desktop. So just click that. A little splash screen will appear, and behind it, a website appears. They're just thanking you for downloading. Um, you probably don't want this showing up every time you start up the program, so check mark that and just go start Media Coder. And here's the program. Uh, one issue with the splash screen, it's 8 seconds, so it's in front of here for 8 seconds as it starts up. So if I exit out of this and just show you guys quick, the splash screen kind of stays here, there, and blocks your view and that. So if you go to File, Settings, uh, Overall, User Interface, uh, Show Splash for a specific, specified time, um, it's set for 8 seconds. Uh, I like it too because I still like to see it. Uh, you can set it to 1, whatever you want. You could set it to 0 which would mean it wouldn't show up at all. So then you just click apply after you've done that. Exit that. Now if you want this to stay all the time, make sure you go save current settings. And this will just save the changes you've done. Uh, the save current settings also applies to things you've changed in, under the video tab. So like your encoder format, audio tab, and container is the file output. So mp4 or avi or that movie um, jig whatever um... so i'll just show you how the splash screen is now quick as you can see that went away a lot quicker so you to get a movie in here you can drag and drop it into the box or you can click here which is It just lets you add a file or whatever you want. So if we go under features, uh, the plugins, you can actually have it because they've got preset things for uh, phones, iPod, MP3 players, PSP, a couple other things. When you click on one of these, we'll do iPod for now. Just click yes here. So it's showing iPod Touch or iPhone. I think that's an iPhone because it has that. So you can pick what you want your options to be. Uh, if you don't have a touch, you can even try one of the other settings that fits yours. The iPod Video and Nano is right there. Whatever you want. Change the f uh, format. Change the frame rate. You'll the best one to pick is actually original. I don't know why they have it set to the other. That way your video doesn't change at all. So then you just click play, it'll encode your video. 
So that's Media Coder. Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh.